Yo, YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back in. Uh, this video is going to be dedicated to a perk that I have been shitting on a lot lately, and that is Deathbound. And by lately, I mean my in my tier list videos, I kind of went through and I tiered a bunch of killer perks based on, like, their rule as a perk, whether it was, like, tracking, um, you know, chase, or, you know, lethality, or whatever the fuck. Um, and Deathbound was one that pretty much in every tier list it showed up on, I put it really, really low, and I said it was dog shit, and I said, I think I said, and I quote, you never want to run this perk no matter what under any circumstance ever i think is what i said so uh yeah well today we're gonna change that because i actually wonder like i legitimately wonder if this might be a semi-okay perk on oni honestly like it really does seem kind of okay i played i've been playing around with this perk a little bit on other on certain other builds like i've been playing around a little bit on unreal and it feels like it can sometimes get good value when you slug somebody because when you slug somebody, the only way that they get out of being slugged is by being healed, and that will always activate Deathbound, right? So it's kind of nice in a weird way. Um, now, obviously, it only happens if they're far away from you and yada, 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 so on and so forth, but being oblivious against Oni is kind of scary, right? Because if, if he's in his power, then you're oblivious from a one-shot down that's charging at you. And even if he's not in his power, then him landing an M one hit on you is still a pretty big deal because that gives him charge for his power. So I think either way, like, this is probably one of the killers that you are not going to want to be oblivious against. So I think it might actually be pretty good. So we're going to run it with Infectious Fright because that helps us that helps us with slugging because we're probably going to be slugging. That's kind of the whole point. Then we also have Corrupt and Pumpkin's Weasel because they're just kind of solid perks. And also our add-ons are just also really good. Just Lion's Fang and Splintered Hall. Just good add-ons, good build. And we're just kind of throwing Deathbound in and seeing how it works. So let's give it a try and let's see if we can actually get some value out of it. Oh, man. What a good map, too. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's bad for the survivors, but... You know, knowing 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 me, I probably just jinxed it and I'm probably gonna get shit on, but this is a pretty good map for Oni, I gotta say. Um Okay, so here's the thing that makes this kind of a struggle, I think. Is Oblivious again is so hard, I feel like, sometimes to like no what the fuck was that pallet throw? Sometimes Oblivious is really hard to like know that you're getting value out of, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you don't know that you're getting oblivious value, it just kinda happens. Like, I mean, sometimes sometimes it's glaringly obvious, right? Sometimes you, like, run up on somebody who very clearly had no idea you were coming, and you're like, okay, that guy was, that guy, that guy was probably oblivious. But, but especially with perks like, I don't know, any perk that basically isn't hysteria, I feel like a lot of the times it's hard to know, like, who is uh, oblivious and, like, where they are, you know? So that might be something that I struggle with this game, I and mean, we will see. We'll, we'll probably vaguely know who's oblivious based on, like, who healed who and who screamed and everything, but it'll probably be still pretty vague. So, I don't have enough orbs down to actually get my power yet, so I'm not even going to bother sucking them up yet. I'm not too worried about it. We need to get another hit, I think. We need to either get another hit or wait for our stuff to passively build up more, and either way, we got to chill for a minute. So, let me see what I can find here. A little bit of progress on, like, every gen. But the where? But the where are the gamers? Oh, gamers? Oh, gamers? Seriously, where are the gamers? What the fuck's happening? They didn't even unhook when I walked away. That was weird. I mean, I guess I'll just kick out this wall. I don't know. He doesn't have any progress either. What the fuck are they doing? What are you guys doing? Are you guys just crouch walking around? Like, what's happening here? Hey, friend. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of confused. Okay, somebody booned. That's interesting. That guy went to struggle. What the fuck is happening? I don't really understand what these guys are doing. All right, well, I guess I'm going to... I guess I'm gonna murder. <laughs> I don't know. Weird. Oh, and she's not even unhooking. Oh god, that guy's either gonna die or DC. He might let go. He honestly might let go. He's kind of he kind of already failed a skill check. He might be letting go. Yeah. Yeah. Someone needs to save that guy like now. Someone needs to save that guy like yesterday. Oh, oh god, not like this. Oh, oh, not like this. Oh, not what? What are they doing? What's his, what's his, what is who? Who is it? Elodie? What's she doing? Elodie, what the fuck are you doing? Are you you're on a gen, bruh, bruh? Your whole team is fucking dying, dude. They're all dead. Okay, well, <laughs> you know what? Let's just go straight to game two. Fuck it. Okay, this one should be a little bit better. Treatment Theater is a little bit of a tougher map, I think. Um, also, I'm obviously going to do a third game because that first game was absurd. Like, that was that was like not even a real game. That was just ridiculous. But there should be a little bit of a, hard, of a harder map. I think, uh, especially when I'm in my power, this is one of those maps where, like, when you're in your power, there's a lot of, like, different directions that people can go, you know? Like, when someone turns a corner, for instance, it's not like, 
oh yeah there's one place that they obviously went you know like there's like a lot of different directions they can go and it makes it really hard to keep track of people mid power sometimes like you can get real tricky and unpredictable on this map when you're getting chased by an oni which is probably a good thing for them right that was an interesting little route that she ran that was a good fake get a hit there so like start the fucking the old sucking you know the old sucking of the orbs um I kind of want to check on some gens, but I also kind of want to suck her orbs, you know? I think I'm just going to suck her orbs. Because she, if you throw, like, no matter what she does here, I'm good, right? If she doesn't throw the pallet, I can kill her. If she dead hards and throws it, then I get orbs. Or what the fuck was that? That was so weird. All right, yeah, she, she, she's dead and we get her power. Uh, I think we're going to slug her right now. This is A-OK -okay with me, dude. Let's chase whoever this is. This was close, right? Wasn't this like right here? Yeah, this is right here. Yeah, whoever this is. Uh, I think they're, whoa, wait, there's someone here. That's a little bit of a questionable play. That was a bit questionable. That was definitely, definitely, certainly a bit questionable. All right, I think someone screamed right out here too. I'm not 100%, but I think someone screamed like literally right over here. Okay, so the guy that picked that guy up is now gonna be oblivious, which is good. Yeah, someone definitely did scream here. I don't know where he went though. Hmm. See, the problem, the problem is that these guys probably ran far away. Yeah, they did. Ooh. Okay. All right, yeah, we got this guy too. All right, cool. We'll take that. Now, somebody picked somebody up over there, but I don't know. Did they even get hit with Deathbound? I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if the far guys got hit with Deathbound. He might have picked himself up, actually. Either that or maybe I was in range? I'm not sure. Dude, where are the hooks? I guess I got to go out this door and then over to the hook, man. I got to travel across the universe, man. We got we to gotta really go places. They're probably gonna get that gen done in the main, the main like, uh, I don't know, the main like TV room. They're probably gonna get that gen done. I don't think I can stop it. But was this guy still here or did he leave? I'm assuming he left. He probably left. Well, he was here. That's interesting. Lots of orbs. Yeah, and they got that gen done. Shame I didn't have pop up in time. I could probably go kick that side gen in time. And there should also be a bunch of orbs there from when these guys were healing just now, I think. I think so anyway. Um, hello, hello? No, there's actually not. Shit. Well, they probably healed actually out here, maybe, like where I downed them. I don't even know if they dropped the orbs at all, actually. I might have still been in my power. Yeah, yeah, I think I was still in my power. I don't think they actually dropped any orbs at all. Fuck. That's a bummer. Got Mars here. Okay, more deathbound value. You love to see it. That was like a male guy screaming, right? I couldn't tell who it was. I couldn't tell if it was Quentin or Chris. I don't really know the different voices yet for a lot of the for a lot of the characters, especially the new ones. That sounded more like Quentin to me. Yeah, because yeah, well, it has to be because Chris is right here. Okay. Yeah, Quentin is now exposed for like sixty seconds. Or not exposed, oblivious for sixty seconds. But again, like, what does that really do for me? Because I don't know exactly where he is. Okay, nice. Found some orbs. Perfect. Let me see if I can moitalize this guy real quick. See if I can absolutely moitalize him. Damn, I'm surprised he didn't vault that window. We'll down him, we'll slug him, we'll go through whoever this is. Mm, no? This is kind of what, kind of what I mean about them being able to go, oh hey, it's the guy that's oblivious. This is kind of what I meant about them being able to go like a million directions. Like this map can definitely be kind of rough for Oni because like when you go through like a doorway, for instance, there's so many different areas that you could go. Like luckily he kind of just stayed put and he didn't really go anywhere too crazy. Like, who was that? That sounded more like Lisa, right? I don't think that was a Meg scream. That didn't sound much like a Meg scream. So Lisa will be oblivious as long as she goes away from that guy now. Um, hmm. See, like, right there. That was that was oblivious value right there. Like, that was undeniably deathbound value. Like, that was one of the times where we can 100% tell that, yes, for sure, that was value out of oblivious, which is actually really cool. Like, that's super cool. She's going to dead hard this, but that's okay. I don't wanna I don't want her to throw the pallet this way. I'd rather yeah, I'd rather throw it that way. That way we can zone her out. This way we can kick it while she's over here and it kinda zones her a little bit. Honestly, I might just pop my power, but she's dropping a lot of orbs that we can get later. Yeah, we're I think I think we're just gonna pop power here. We gotta kill. We must kill. She already dead hearted, so I think I'll go ahead and get her. And then we'll go after someone else afterwards. Weird that she didn't throw that. I don't know why she didn't throw that. 
Honestly, I'll just, I'll just get her. I think she dropped enough orbs over by the uh, over by that that I think we can just get our power back again. Like I think if we hook her here and then go over to where she just was and drop a bunch of orbs, I think we can guarantee get it back. I think that's the better play rather than taking the risk of like trying to find somebody when we don't know exactly where they are. She ended up that gen done. I wanted to go over there and kick it with pot, but I guess not. Yeah, we can get all of our orbs right here. This is fine. I am gonna pop my power here though. Well, someone's right here. That's pretty nice. I actually didn't even know he was there, but I'm not gonna argue it. They healed over there. That's also good to know. See, that's what I thought they were gonna do the first time. That play makes the most sense to me. Went down him. Two people just healed like over here. I think the Meg was oblivious too, so I'm gonna see if I can catch her off guard. Maybe going for the unhook. Her clan mate's on the hook, so she might be going for her potential clan mate. Their DBD clan. What is this? What the fuck? Oh no, he got got, dude. My man's got got. Would she show up? Would she show up on... Uh... I think she got that guy up again. Would she show up on, on Infectious Fright? She would, right? Like, if you're oblivious, you still show up on Infectious, right? I'm pretty sure you do. Because I think, like, I think they just have to be in your terror radius, but I think as long as... Right? Would you? I actually don't know. I think so, because the Quentin screamed earlier when I'm pretty sure that he was oblivious. But also, it seems like it shouldn't work that way because they don't have a terror radius, right? So, like, that's confusing to me. I'm pretty sure, like, the Quentin was oblivious earlier and he still screamed with Infectious Fright, but I don't know, like... Like, I know, for instance, that, like, if you're if you're playing Legion, how normally you see the killer instinct of people that are in your terror radius, you don't see it on people that are oblivious. So why would that work that way, but then Infectious Fright work? I don't get, I don't get that. That's very odd. But I'm pretty sure that Quentin screamed at while while being oblivious. So what? The, so like, what the hell is that about? What's what's going on here? What's the dealio? Someone explain. Somebody explain to me. I don't get it. Let me put her up on the hook, and then we're gonna we're gonna just use our power and go back. We know that they we know that two people just unhooked at that back unhook, and we know that they're down there. We know that like all three of them are in this general area down here. I think the faster we can get down here, the better. Yeah, there we go. We got some people. Oh yeah, we got people. Oh, did he corner me? Wait, what just happened? Oh, he did. All right, we'll hit him with the slam. The slam, bam, goddamn. Thank you, ma'am. This guy is, well, I was gonna say he's trying to get out of here, but I don't know if that was actually attempting to get out of here or what that was. I don't know what you would call that. I think that was, he was trying to get out and then he decided the last second that crouching in the grass is the best play. And then he, he yeah, and then he regretted it. Yep, yep. And then he very quickly learned to regret it. Well, see you, buddy. See you. Was fun playing, and uh, we'll see you later. We'll see you later, friendo. With this guy on the hook. I mean, this game's pretty much over now. That guy DCing basically sealed the deal. Although that was this guy's first hook. That's interesting. That is interesting that that was that guy's first hook. Now the injured Meg will be oblivious again when they leave each other. Not yet. When they leave each other's radius, she'll be oblivious, which is good. That's a lot of orbs. This is the Meg that's oblivious. I kind of want to kill the other guy and leave her oblivious. Because she'll be like kind of freaking out now, right? You would think. One would think, anyway. I don't know exactly where this guy went. Shit. Maybe I should have went for the Meg. I don't know exactly where she went. I saw her scratch marks going down there, but maybe she didn't commit. Well, time to go back to the hook, I guess. Meg might be coming down for the hook guy. Over this way. Maybe not? Bro, what are they doing? Huh. Interesting. I thought the Meg would be making her way down to the hook, but again, maybe she was scared because of how, uh, because of her obliviousness. Hey, there she is. There she is. Oblivious and all, baby. Actually, was she even still oblivious? I think Deathbound was off cooldown. That's what happened with the Quentin earlier. Maybe Deathbound was off cooldown. I wasn't actually paying that much attention. Deathbound could have very easily been off cooldown. And I guess there you go. GG's. Dude, Oni's such a fun killer. All right, let's go to the end game. GG's. All right, all right, all right. GG failures. That one was pretty good. Uh, I think we got a decent bit of death bound value that game. Like a decent bit. Like it didn't feel like amazing, but it felt like it at least did something, right? Like again, it wasn't completely useless, which is what I usually expected of a prick like this. I expect it to be completely dog shit. I really don't like... I don't want to overhype it. It's not good. Like, I don't think it's good here. I think you could replace this with a lot of other perks that would do a lot more for me, right? Like, even just like Call of Brian, like throw that in place. It would probably do a lot more. Um, really any perk. Scourge Hook Pain Residence would do a million times more for me here, you know? So, like, I don't think it's, like, a crazy good perk, but I honestly think it can get some value, especially with, like, high slugging killers. Let's do, uh, game three, and we'll see, uh, one last time what it can do.
Groaning storehouse. Gross. Go gross. All right, let's see how this one goes. This is a pretty big map. So this one's usually pretty rough. Uh, if I had to guess, I would guess that they're going to spawn back here. This seems pretty accurate. I'm, I'm going to guess that two people spawned over here and two people spawned down in that corner. That's my guess here. Um, we'll see if we're right. This feels like a pretty common spawn for based on where I spawn. Mm, I'm not seeing anybody. I'm going to do a quick loop around. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Perhaps I'm wrong. Wait. That scratch marks. Fuck, they did spawn here. Fuck. Fuck, I just didn't catch them. They left. Son of a bitch, they stealthed away. Son of a bitch. I should have trusted my instinct. Well, I guess I did trust my instinct. I just didn't catch them. Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me, Jake? Where the hell are you taking me? What is this? This is T-Walls. This is good. This is good. I think I get a hit here no matter what. Yeah, I get a hit here no matter what. Why is there orbs? Oh my god, someone has no either. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, dude, there's fucking- Oh, dude, there's orbs galore. Oh, dude, fuck yeah. Hook it up. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, yeah, bud. That's the stuff. Dude, my man Savage Zaper out here hooking me the fuck up. You'll love to see it. Okay, someone's in here. Okay, punch this stupid wall real quick. Hey, look, it's a stupid Meg. I can't wait to kill her with my stupid weapon. This stupid killer that I'm playing. God, so stupid. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Good play, good play, good play. Vault back in. Oh, oh, the juicer, the juicer, the god juicer. The god of all juicening. This is actually really awkward. That was actually really, really awkward to play. Like, super awkward. No one screamed with Infectious Sprite, so I'm just going to hook her. I'm just going to take the hook. Maybe get the uh, Pop Goes the Weasel kick and see if we can get some value out of that. Maybe on like this middle gen? I mean, what gen are they working on? I don't know. Are, are they doing that far gen, you think? Like that one down there? Maybe. I think I see scratch marks there, actually. Huh. Does that gen have progress, you think? I don't know. I'm saying you think as if I'm talking to... As if I'm expecting... A hey, guys, you think? You want to maybe give me an answer? Uh, oh, it does. Interesting. I don't think they'd be down here, honestly. Hey, I guess I'll take it. Did you... Yeah, I'll take a free hit first. Yeah, give me my free hit first. Your boy wants some blood orbs, okay? Then I'll kick it. Then I can get my blood orbs, then I can get fast as shit again, and then we can get back in y'all, you know? Get right back in y'all. Yeah, found? That was, what, Jake, I think? Or was that... Wait, that might have been Jeff, actually. Um, I'll just chase her normally for a minute. At least see if we can get this pallet down. Actually, she might go down here. Whoa, there's two pallets here. And a pallet right there. What the fuck? There's a jungle gym pallet and then two pallets. What the fuck? Is the other side of the map like a giant dead zone? Why the fuck is that all here? What the f That's so odd. There's like so many pallets in that short little area. Dude, there's so many orbs. This fucking no miner guy is hooking it up so much. Holy shit. I'm gonna kick this with Pop. Then we can chase wherever this guy is. Dude, this, this no miner guy is like really coming in clutch here, dude. Holy shit, he's giving me so much. Like, there's just orbs fucking everywhere out here. Okay, she's going in. And... Uh, I ran, I'm gonna be honest with you, I ran out of room on my mouse... I, I ran out of room on my mouse pad, and I almost just, like, knocked my coffee cup off my desk. I'm gonna be perfectly real with you, my coffee cup almost went flying right there. I don't know, where the hell did she go? Oh, dude, you're a wizard, Harry. What the fuck? That was hella confusing. Alright, let's just... We got basement right here. Let's just take you down there, I guess. This guy's name is, oh jeez, oh god, oh jeez, oh god, oh jeez, are you okay, coffee cup? You didn't go flying, right? Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, they might get back on that far gen, maybe, because they know, they know it had progress, so they're probably not wanting to, like, let it go. If I can get enough orbs to fly back there with my power, that would be sweet. Well, oh, there's a guy right there, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna go check on this gen, and then we'll come back later. Because I think we might get some good pot value here, and we, we might also just find them again, too. Ah, they're gen rushers! Not like these. They're a bunch of damn dirty good for nothing gen rushers. You hate to see it. What the fuck is this? The fucking LT wall god. I'm gonna leave her in this corner. Cause for them to come the whole way out here to pick her up, that's a kind of a huge time investment. Honestly. Like that's a rare that's a really, really big time investment. And then they'll also get hit with deathbound anyway. And we currently have mobility with our power. So like this feels like a pretty okay play to make, honestly. Mm, hey! I thought for sure he was gonna dead hard. I was trying to get him at the end of his dead hard, and he just never did it. Is he is he running no miner without dead hard? Because if so, this guy is an absolute fucking Chad, dude. This guy is an absolute giga Chad. If that's what's going on here. Okay, that's the Jake. That's now that's now oblivious. 
Put them up there. Yup, 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 yup. Give me all them orbs. Oh, there's orbs here, too. <gasps> so many orbs. Oh, there's orbs everywhere. Oh, give me the orbs. Ah, oh, yes, I love the orbs. See, like, I kind of want to go inside and kick that gen, but I know that there's an Oblivious Jake over here. There's an Oblivious Jake over here, and I'm about to get my power. Like, how can I resist that, dude? How can I resist? Look at this, dude. Oblivious. He's so oblivious of everything. That's some deathbound value right there, dude. That's what that is. Straight up deathbound value. This guy's now full health, too, which makes this extremely worth it. Oh, yeah. That's... Yep. Yep. That's that. There's the snowball that you like to see. That's the kind of snowball that you roll down the hill and then it turns into a giant snowball. And then you end up winning the game of Dead by Daylight. You know, that's that's how that usually goes. Yep, 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 yep. And there's just so many orbs, dude. This is no either guy. Like, there's a bunch of orbs over there too. Wait, the Jake was over here, right? Jacob, Jacob. Hey, man. Hey, bud. Come on down, friend. There should be, a, yeah, I was gonna say, there should be a bunch of orbs there, too, because that's where that's where she got healed. So, yeah, we should be able to get our power again, again. We're not even using pop anymore. We're just kind of snowballing pressure so much now that we, we don't even need pop. Although, that was a... It just that they found time to get that gen done, but... I guess it makes sense. They only need one person to save right now. Jeffrey? Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go near the hook. Yeah, don't go near the hook. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Scram. Scram, get out of here. Look at all these pallets, dude. I mean, I'm gonna go for it, though. You know? Alright. We're gonna get this Jeff. We're gonna put him on hook. He's got no mither anyway. We kind of have to. But my lord, is there a lot of pallets over here. My lord. Such a weird setup. I don't think I've ever seen this. Like, okay. I've seen double pallets. Like, I've seen two pallets at the same time like this before, but I don't think I've seen it without there being like a huge lack of pallets around it, right? Usually when this is the case, there's usually like a huge lack of pallets everywhere else, like near it, you know? Which is not the case right now. Both of these guys could DS me, which kind of sucks. I'm just gonna pick one up, but if I get DS, I get DS'd. It's either that or I slug for the four, man. So I'd rather at least go for this. I'd rather give them at least a little bit of a chance to keep staying alive, you know? Oh, oh. I'm just gonna pick this guy up and see what happens. I could get DS or maybe they'll pallet save him. That was way too early, dude. Oh, this poor guy. I feel for this Jake, man. I feel for him. Especially, I feel for this Jake and I also feel for this Meg. Cause that Meg was going for it too. And then he just fucked it up, dude. That's such a bad feeling. You're like, dude, I had it. Why'd Jeff even go for it? I had it under control. And the, and the, and the Jeff was like, nah, I got this. All right, we're just gonna end this, dude. We're just gonna end this. I'm sorry, man, it's time to go. It is time to go. Uh, uh. All right, well, I suppose that's uh, that there will be a GG, I guess. That done there will be a GG. All right, all right, all right. This game went even better than before. So, hey, there you go. I mean, I don't know. Deathbound, it, I feel like we got value out of it a bit, right? Like it was a bit, we got a bit of value. Like that Jake got hit with it a little bit. It also just kind of gives us information about who's where, right? Like another thing that maybe I'm not realizing is that like the yell of the scream can tell you who it is, right? Like I knew who was where based off who screamed, which actually is a little bit of information that maybe I didn't give Deathbound enough credit for. Like I can tell that Jake was in the corner based off the scream and like the sound of the scream, you know? So like that's kind of an interesting bit of like Deathbound value maybe too. I don't know. Uh, I feel like we're, I feel like this is probably like one of the best case scenarios for Deathbound. Uh, maybe, maybe another build I can do is something on, with, with, with Onreal that, that takes advantage of it as well. But I feel like this is almost best case scenario for this perk and it's still just kind of meh. Like, don't get me wrong. It was good, I guess. Like it got us some value, but I don't know. Again, I feel like it depends on whether you want to win or whether you want to like mess around with some builds that aren't necessarily meta and have some fun. And I like messing around with at least some perks that aren't necessarily meta. I know the rest of my build is super meta, but like, I don't know. I think it's fun to mess around with things that are a little bit off meta sometimes. And I think Deathbound has some potential to do at least something, right? So maybe I was a little bit too harsh on it. I don't, I still think it's a dog shit perk, but maybe it's not as bad as I was making it out to be. It's kind of interesting in, in, in situations like this. So GG's. All right, boys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like this. Uh, 
uh, I don't know. Deathbound value, baby. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I, I kind of want to make some more videos on like some weird obscure perks that maybe um don't get enough love or maybe, you know, would be just an interesting uh, like perk to make a video around. So if you guys have any suggestions for something like that, feel free to let me know. Uh, like looking through, there's a lot of perks that seem like they could potentially do it. And then a lot where there's a lot of perks where, that, that are like overwhelming presence or something where it's like, how do you ever make a build around this? Right. But it, like this, this perk just sucks. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I guess it depends. I, I, I wouldn't mind making some more, some more videos based around weird niche perks, but I'd have to find some. If you guys want to see anything in particular, let me know and I can maybe think about doing it. Um, but that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys like this. If you guys did like this video, feel free to give it a like. Subscribe if you want as well, because I'm going to be uploading literally daily. And I'm also live on Twitch six nights a week over at twitch.tv slash otofu. So feel free to stop by and say hello sometime. And until next time, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night. I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. Uh, see you later. See ya. <laughs>